What is up, Dream City Youth? My name is Lily, and I am so honored and privileged to be able to give you guys today's Devo. Today, I'm kind of going to be talking about trials and circumstances and how God uses them and the hope that we can have while we're going through them. Before we get started, I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this incredible time that you've given me to be able to speak to these students and leaders, God. I pray that you would speak through me and that these words would be filled with intentionality and purpose, God. We love you and we praise you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Now we live in a fallen world due to sin and trials and hard circumstances are inevitable. To really understand our circumstances and trials, God's perspective is vital. Don't allow your circumstances to be labeled by the world because the world cannot see the truth. Truth has a name. His name is Jesus. Now, how can God use our trials? How can God take something that we find so hard and how can he use it for good? Well, for one, God uses our trials to grow us to be more like Jesus. We can't stay where we are and go with God. God's goal is not our comfort, but our character, because our character is what lasts forever. God uses our trials and circumstances to grow our character so we can become the people that he needs us to be to fulfill the purposes that he has created us for. Now that doesn't mean that trials and growth will be easy. They weren't meant to be easy. There is no growth without change, no change without fear or loss, and no loss without pain. But we become whatever we are committed to. And when we commit ourselves to God and his perfect plan and choose to trust in him regardless of how bad things may seem, we allow ourselves to be shaped and refined by trials and people begin to see Jesus' reflection in us. And secondly, God uses trials to test our faith and bring us closer to him. Trials force us to look to God and depend on him instead of ourselves. We will never know that God is all we need until God is all we have. Trials strip away all our false confidences and allow us to place our faith in the only one who is truly in control. God will never give us something that we can't with his help overcome. Fixing our eyes on God's perfect plan instead of the problem gives our trials purpose because our focus determines our feelings. Now the fact that trials happen doesn't mean that God has changed. Romans 8.28 says, For we know that God is causing everything to work together for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. God has a perfect plan and perfect timing. God is still good. There is godly purpose behind every problem. Don't be troubled by trouble. Our circumstances can't change God's character and nature. God has forever demonstrated his absolute love for us on the cross, and nothing can change that. Now trials are inevitable. Yes, they will happen, but we can have hope. Hope in our circumstances, good or bad. Hope that is based on the knowledge and certainty that God has a perfect plan and is in control. Hope for an eternal future. Our trials have an eternal reward. We are not completely happy here on earth because we're not supposed to be. We were created for eternity. 2 Corinthians 4.17 says, Our momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that overcomes them all. If we want to share in Jesus' glory in heaven, we must be willing to share his sufferings also. And I promise you, the reward will be worth it.